Okay, this is to help with homework 9.4, number 6. Definitely a tricky question here. We are trying to find the sum of this series, and this is in the summation notation. And I think to make it a little bit simpler, I'm going to like list out some of the terms. So this n5 and 10 means we are looking at the terms that from uh, n of 5 up to 10. So I'm just going to list them out 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then to get the corresponding value, you can just plug it in. So put like 5 in for n, and we'd have 20 minus 5. So the fifth spot is 15. And then if we made n 6, plugged it in, we'd get 14. Made n 7, plugged it in, we would get 13, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. And so those are uh, the terms, and we're trying to find the sum. All right. We're trying to add all these up. So one thing we could do here is we could manually just enter them all in our calculator and get the sum that way. Um, but the other route would be to use the formula. So this is an arithmetic pattern because it goes down one each time. And um, to find the sum of an arithmetic, it's this formula, right? And I made a formula sheet um, that's in the resources for this distance learning stuff. You need to keep them all straight, but this is for the sum of an arithmetic series. All right, and so how many terms we have is, uh, I think there's actually six. It kind of seems like there would be five if you did 10 minus five, it should be five, but actually if you count them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six terms. So n is six, the first value, and this is where I think it's a little bit goofy, is a sub one normally means like the first term. So we'd have to like go backwards, right, to get the first term or whatever, but it's really the first term in the things we are summing. So the things we are summing the first term is 15, and the last term and what we're summing is the 10, right? So our setup, even though this is really not truly a sub one, it's, it's the first thing in our sum. So we end up with six divided by two times 15 plus 10. Sorry for the poor handwriting, but all of that should be 75. Okay, so the answer to this sum is 75. And again, you could do it on your calculator and verify, but it should be okay, 75. All right. Hope that helps.